And I had major back surgery. So for me to try to do matches and things like that as a singles competitor, I don't think the body can hold up anymore. Now that your tenure with WWE is over currently, and you had a great, absolutely great uh, run there, no hard feelings, nothing. Oh, no. Go ahead. No, I said not at all. I mean, I've, I've had a tremendous run. This house that I'm living in right now is definitely due to Vince McMahon paying me the money that he has paid me to take care of you know myself and my family for so many years. So there's no bitterness, there's no evilness in my heart. You know, like I said in my tweet, which I was rushing and didn't realize that I made some spelling errors. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm very thankful for the McMahon family. Um, you know, Vince, Stephanie, uh, Hunter, you know, I can't begin to tell you how much my loyalty is to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. They were behind me in my corner every step of the way even during the Reverend Devon days. And I had a very good connection with both both of them. So my love for Triple H and Stephanie is unparable. I just I love those guys and I think they I think they're tremendous people. I love how they welcomed me into the family and took care of me for so many years. But you know, just like your parents, not saying that I look at them like my parents, but just like your parents, you always have to go away from the nest and do your own thing. It's time to grow up. And although I'm 50 years old, I'm still growing up, but I think it was his time to go. You know, you, you agreed to disagree on certain things and never had a disagreement with Triple H or Stephanie, but it was other people within the organization. But again, it's okay. Sometimes you outgrow things, you outgrow people and you got to move on. So my hat still goes off to the WWE. I love that place. I will always be. I would want to be the brand of WWE walking around with WWE shirts all the time. I love that place. It's my home. All right. So the final question here is fans are always asking me now that the Dudleys uh, are both no longer in the WWE. What are the chances of Devon get the tables? What's the chances of you two teaming up again in the ring? Well, me and Bubba have talked about it. Um, it's not you know, um, unheard of. You know, I did have major back surgery. So I just took the x-rays today and which, which that's gonna be sent to my doctor to see if everything is good. And I actually take my MRI tomorrow to make sure that the fusions uh, that took place, uh, everything is still intact. So once I get the okay from that within the next week or two, I will be able to determine whether I'm gonna get back in the ring. It looks very good. It was like, I probably can get back in the ring. Bubba and I, like I said, we've talked about it, but it all depends on my health and well-being. And if I can still do it, then God bless me. And if, I, if the doctor tells me no, then I have to hang it up for good. If Bubba says that uh, he can't for any reason, physically, mentally or whatever, would you go out as a single? No, I think my time like that is over. Again, I had major back surgery. So for me to try to do matches and things like that as a singles competitor, I don't think the body can hold up anymore. You know, I think as a tag team, yes, because I would need kind of like that crutch or somebody to be in my corner with me to help me. Because again, I'm 50 years old, just had back surgery. So I'm not 22, 23 trying to bounce back from that. I'm a little older. So I have to take in consideration that I have to have something there to help me around. And Bubba would be the best partner to do that with. Devon, these days, what are you doing? I mean, are you still training wrestlers? Yes, I'm still training wrestlers at DDA, Devon Dudley Academy, uh, which is right in Winter Park, which is right down the road uh, from the Performance Center. Um, I'm having a great time in doing that, so I'm still active within the business uh, in doing that. We are at Winter Park 2720 Forsyth Road, uh, Winter Park, Florida. So we're right down the road from the uh, PC Center. And as a matter of fact, you know, when I left, I was speaking to Matt Bloom, who is heading uh, the Performance Center, told me, if you have anybody you feel that is worthy enough to come down to the PC and have a tryout, let us know. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to get the stars of tomorrow ready 
so they could be those next brand of NXT guys. Where can they find that online? They can go to Devon Dudley Academy or DDA uh, Academy on Instagram. You can also go uh, to uh, Twitter as well as Facebook. You know, you type in uh, Devon Dudley Academy or DDA. And when you spell Devon, it's D V O N. That's what, no dash in, in the D? In the no v dash. That one. No, no dash. All right. Um, so people can find you on all that social media. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Couldn't you still get the tables? Oh, absolutely. All right. <laughs> That's what we needed to know. Thank you, Devon. Thank you.